Beating the Golden State Warriors without Bradley Beal or Yusuf Nurkic, the Phoenix Suns improved to 10-2 with Kevin Durant in the lineup. Devin Booker scored a game-high 27 points and dished out a game-high 9 assists, while KD had a 21-point double-double with 3 blocks. The wins the Suns have pulled off with KD present include being against plus 500 squads like the Lakers twice, the Clippers twice, the Mavs twice, and now the Dubs. The Suns' ball movement against the Warriors was deadly, as they racked up 31 assists which helped them shoot 51.4% from 3 point range, the 7th highest percentage of made triples by a team who've made at least 18 threes in a game this year. Defensively, the Suns racked up 9 blocks and 4 steals, plus held the Warriors to just 41.3% shooting from the field, the 3rd lowest output by the Warriors in a single game in 24-25. Without KD, the Suns have been a below average team to put it kindly as they've gone just 1-6 minus the Slim Reaper. That said, with the firepower that Durant provides and how it combines with Devin Booker, everything ticks for this Suns team when Durant's in the lineup. Having either Durant or Booker on the floor at all times puts a constant pressure on the defense with Kevin and Devin's ability to break down their matchups in pick and roll in isolations, as well as shoot over the top of defenders and set up teammates with precise facilitations. Against the Warriors, that shot creation permitted a flurry of snipers in Tyus Jones who had 19 on 4 for 5 shooting from distance, Grayson Allen who had 17 on 3 for 6 shooting from distance, Royce O'Neal who had 11 on 3 for 4 shooting from distance, and Monte Morris who had 8 on 2 for 3 shooting from distance, as much leverage as they needed to let fly of shots from beyond the arc. In the rotation, the Suns are also trusting two rookies in Ryan Dunn out of the University of Virginia and Oso Igadoro out of Marquette University. Watch how the two rookies defend on this possession, as first it's Dunn rotating over as the low man to account for Trace Jackson Davis to force one miss, then after TJD grabs his own miss, it's Igadoro sneaking up behind him for the lethal denial off the glass. It says a lot when two players in their first year are being trusted like they are as Ryan and Oso have big roles for Phoenix off the pine, and it also speaks volumes when two primary voices like Kevin Durant and first-year Suns head coach and champion with the Milwaukee Bucks, Mike Budenholzer, are giving Dunn and Igadoro the highest of praise. That's huge. I mean, we trust them. to. We expect that out of them. You know, I think that's what they bring to our team is that energy, that aggressiveness on defense, that physicality on defense. Uh, you know, and, and then challenging at the rim. I think that's something that coach always emphasized to everybody, not just the bigs, but everybody just kind of had that collision mindset at the rim where you just want to disrupt the play, you know. So we keep practicing that and keep building those habits. I think it'll be second nature to us. And you see it with uh, Oso and Ryan. They just want to get on the court. So they're going to do those little things for us. And, uh, you know, so they're setting a high standard for themselves every night. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, uh, the defense really stood out, but also gives us, you know, kind of a facilitator, a motor on offense. We'll, you know, keep the things moving. He can get in and out of screens. Um, but then the defensive plays, I thought there was a big defensive rebound that Ryan got to, you know, the block shots, but the rebounding, um, you know, as, as young guys to, to lock in on it, you know, when you're, you know, how are we playing the pick and rolls? How are we playing the pin downs? How are we playing everything? Um, you know, I think it was a really good night for uh, those two guys to to kind of see and feel um, the attention to detail that it takes against a team like Golden State. Budenholzer briefly mentioned Oso providing facilitation, and I wanted to look at a play exemplifying how Igadoro gave Phoenix just that near the end of the first quarter. Prior to that play, Booker flew past Moses Moody, drew Kavon Looney, and found Oso for a monster lob finish. But on this possession, Watch how Igadoro catches and finds a relocated Booker, rolls to receive the entry after Booker gets doubled, then elusively and swiftly midair swings to O'Neal, who whips to Morris, who fires to the opened up Booker for the corner triple. Insane ball movement. Along with the rookies, another new addition to this Suns attack who's helped the team's talent around the big three of Durant, Booker, and Beal is Tyus Jones. Jones signed a one-year $3.3 million deal with the Suns this past summer, and that's been a steal of a contract for GM James Jones thus far. Because, while averaging an NBA 11th most 7.2 assists per game, 0.1 less than his average with the Wizards last season, Jones, for a second consecutive year, is first in the association in assist-to-turnover ratio. 
Jones is yet another weapon who can take defenders off the dribble with his speed, and like Duran and Booker, he can also shoot threes and pass the rock at a high level. Most importantly, it's how Tyus has been able to facilitate stably that's increased the flow and efficiency of the offense. While the Suns got him for a bargain, Devin Booker's known Tyus for over a decade and knows how talented the product of Duke is. Booker went to Kentucky, so he had a rivalry with Jones' alma mater, plus they were drafted in the same year. Tyus is attempting a career-high 5.23 pointers per game this season, and knocking down an above-average 38.4% of them. In a head-to-head point-guard-on-point-guard battle with Stephen Curry, Jones was far more efficient than Steph, Tyus attempted 12 less field goals and 5 less threes than Curry, and only had 4 less points. He also had 5 more assists than Steph. What can you say about the way Tyus has shot the ball for you guys this year? It seemed like that was maybe under the radar for some of the contributions he's going to give, but he's been lights out. I told y'all, so I gotta say. <laughs> um, well, you know, when he came here, did you guys view him as a potential spacer in those lineups, or was that just something that that was kind of come unexpected that he used on that? I've known him for 15 years, so I knew. One of a game-high three blocks for Kevin Durant on the night was a top highlight for Phoenix. Watch how KD first rotates onto Looney to neutralize one drive, then picks up Lindy Waters and utterly clamps him up, leading to what's a disrespectful snatch block. In the past, while it was long ago, we've gone in depth on how good of a player Devin Booker is many times. He's one of the game's few mid-range assassins, and he's Kobe-esque in terms of how his scoring looks. I'm sure we're going to be talking about Booker more in the future, whose playmaking is prevalent, but your boy talking about the Suns today isn't even close to being possible without Kevin Durant. Still a dangerous killer at 36 years of age, Durant's averaging 27-7-3 on a 53-43-81 shooting split, displaying his near top of the league versatility. Kevin's leading the Suns in both points and blocks per game, as well as three-pointers made. In addition to speaking about KD at the end of this next clip, Booker spoke on the win versus the Warriors and Grayson Allen. I'm sure wins when you guys score 140 feel just as good as, as a win like this, but can this one kind of be different when you set the tone defensively and physically and win a game in this way? Yeah, and just understanding, you know, the team that we were facing. Um, like I said, a, a high-powered offense. Um, you know, guys that have won championships, guys that know knows what it takes, and, you know, a team that we could potentially see in, in a playoff series. So, um Anytime you can come out with, you know, a division one is important. Last two, Dan and Kate. That was like Grayson said, the tone from the three in the second quarter, and you know, the guys basically followed the seed splash and went to halftime. Yeah, I mean, it opens up everything for us when, you know, teams try to load up defensively, and, you know, he, he just makes them pay, not only with the three, but, you know, he can drive and get to the free throw line also. Look, you guys are 10-2 on the season with KD healthy. Can you just speak about what he's doing when he's on the floor that makes you guys so special? Um, I mean, that's a long list. Um, i just say a little, a little bit of everything, or a whole lot of everything. And, you know, the one that sticks out is obviously down the stretch. Um, you know, just the, the clutch factor, being able to, you know, make tough shots in those situations. Well, shots that seem tough to us, but probably not to him. Um, He's been there before, you know, he causes a lot of attention that opens up a lot of looks for everybody. This was your boy D Flo, and I'll see you next video.